For years, the iPad Pro has stood at the cutting edge of tablet innovation. With every generation, Apple has pushed the hardware envelope faster chips, better displays, more advanced accessories, but something has always felt incomplete. It's as though Apple built a rocket ship and refused to launch it. Users, reviewers, and developers alike have often echoed the same sentiment. The iPad Pro is wildly powerful, but it's been held back by software that hasn't evolved fast enough to take full advantage of its potential. That narrative might finally be changing with the highly anticipated release of the M5 iPad Pro. Launching in fall 2025, powered by the brand new Epados 26, for the first time in a decade, Apple seems poised to deliver on the promise of a true tablet laptop hybrid blurring the lines between convenience and capability, portability and performance, simplicity and sophistication. The iPad's greatest weakness might finally be fixed let's address the elephant in the room. For all its stunning hardware, the iPad Pro has historically been a device where ambition didn't always align. With practicality, Apple began installing desktop class silicon like the M1 and M2 chips years ago, putting the iPad Pro ahead of even some MacBooks in terms of raw power. On paper, it was incredible. An iPad with the same chip as a MacBook Pro. That sounded like a game changer. And yet, in everyday use, it often didn't feel any different than a regular iPad. You couldn't run Mako's apps. You couldn't multitask freely. You couldn't even access full-featured versions of some software. The result? Professionals found themselves frustrated. Creatives who tried to replace their laptops found the iPad Pro to be a sleek, yet limited device amazing for drawing, decent for editing, and disappointing for anything requiring multitasking or real file management. With each iteration, users hoped that Apple would bridge the gap between Apatos and Macos. Finally, with Apatos 26, that wish might be coming true. M5 chip, more than just an upgrade a new class of iPad power let's talk performance. The upcoming M5 chip is expected to be built using second generation 3 nanometer technology, which means even better power efficiency and performance than the M4. Early leaks and analyst predictions suggest that the M5 will not only outpace the M4 in CPU and GPU benchmarks, but also introduce a much faster neural engine, designed specifically for on-device AI and machine learning tasks. That's a huge deal in 2025, where AI is beginning to integrate into every part of our workflow from intelligent search and summarization to real-time transcription and smart photo editing. Apple Intelligence, Apple's new AI framework introduced with iOS 19 and Mako Sequoia, will be deeply integrated into Epados 26 and will be fully unlocked by the M5 chip. While previous iPads could barely scratch the surface of these features, the M5 iPad Pro is expected to handle complex AI tasks entirely on device, ensuring faster execution, better privacy, and offline functionality. That means tasks like generating summaries and notes, cleaning up audio and podcast, or even creating smart replies in mail will be fluid, instant, and secure. But raw power alone is not what makes the M5 revolutionary, it's what the software finally lets you do with it. Epados 26, the update that changes everything with Epados 26. Apple seems to have finally heard the chorus of frustrated professionals who've long begged for a better tablet experience. This new version of Epados isn't just a cosmetic update, it's a complete rethink of how the iPad works. Apple is finally introducing features that bring the iPad closer to a true desktop class. Experience, making it more suitable than ever, as a standalone device for productivity, creativity, and pro-level tasks. Desktop-style windowing and multitasking prefabs. The most requested feature true windowed multitasking is finally here. Epados 26 introduces a resistible, draggable, overlapping window system that functions similarly to Macos, allowing users to run and interact with multiple apps side by side in any layout they prefer. No more being limited to awkward split view or slide over modes. You can now have Final Cut Pro in one corner, Notes and Safari in another, and messages running in the background all simultaneously. This is the kind of productivity boost power users have wanted for years and it transforms the iPad from a consumption device into a multitasking powerhouse. Live activities and real background tasks live activities previously exclusive. Two iPhones now make their way to Epados, giving users live updates from apps on their lock screen or in the status area. Whether it's tracking a delivery, watching stock tickers, or keeping tabs on a Pomodoro timer, live activities make the iPad feel more dynamic and responsive to real-world needs. Even better, true background tasks are now allowed. This means apps like Logic Pro or Final Cut can continue exporting and rendering, even when you're working on something else. No more babysitting the iPad while waiting for a project to render. 
A full menu bar and system try a proper menu bar is also coming to Epados 26, finally giving users easy access to system controls, app preferences and contextual tools, think Mako style drop down menus for save, export, preferences and more. This makes professional apps far more usable on the iPad and removes the need for overly simplified interfaces that hide essential tools behind cryptic gestures. Files app finally gets serious on of the biggest complaints about Epodosin. The past was the underwhelming Files app. It lacked pro features, had inconsistent behavior, and treated external drives like second-class citizens. Epodos 26 fixes all of this. Users can now enjoy column view, tagging, file compression batch, operations, spotlight-style search, and network drive support. For photographers, filmmakers, and engineers who depend on precise file management, this makes the iPad Pro a real competitor to MacBooks and Windows laptops. Pro-grade audio tool Saudio professionals can rejoice. Epodos 26 introduces multi-track, audio recording, custom audio routing, mix reviews, and native support for high-end audio interfaces. With the power of the M5 chip and apps like Logic Pro now fully optimized for iPad, musicians and podcasters can record, edit, mix, and publish all from a single device. Creators and artists get even more tools to iPad Pro as always. Been a favorite for digital artists, especially with the Apple Pencil. The 2025 model, combined with the Apple Pencil Pro, brings new haptic feedback, squeeze gestures, tilt-based controls, and dynamic brush previews all supported natively by Epados 26. Whether you're working in Procreate, Adobe Fresco, or Concepts, the new tools feel more natural than ever. Combine this with a rumored matte anti-reflective screen, and drawing on the iPad Pro M5 will feel more like using real paper than ever before. Camera and display up gratis although the iPad Pro isn't a camera-first device, professionals using it for video calls, content creation, or document scanning will appreciate rumored improvements. Expect a landscape-oriented front-facing camera with better center stage tracking, plus enhancements to depth sensors for improved our experiences. The display, meanwhile, remains old but may come with variable refresh rates, higher peak brightness, and improved HDR performance ideal for editing for K and 8K video content connectivity, accessories, and ecosystem integration. The M5 iPad Pro is expected to support Wi-Fi 7, 5G advanced, and a revamped Thunderbolt port with higher bandwidth. That means faster file transfers, more reliable external display support, and seamless connection to accessories like SSDs, capture cards, and audio interfaces. The Magic Keyboard might also get a refresh, possibly with function keys, backlit keys, and a more stable magnetic latch. Apple is also expected to improve ecosystem continuity with features like universal control to point zero, cross-device AI memory, and handoff for Logic and Final Cut Pro between iPad and Mac. Pricing, storage, and configuration tiers Apple's pricing for Pro devices is trended upward, especially when they come with significant hardware upgrades. Here's what we expect. 11-inch M5 iPad Pro, starting at $109,913 inch M5 iPad Pro, starting at $1. $299 storage options, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, 1 TB to TB, and possibly a new 3 TB tier pencil pro and magic keyboard sold separately, likely unchanged in price. Apple Intelligence, the secret weapon Apple Intelligence, the on-device AI layer. Apple introduced in 2025 isn't just a gimmick. It's a system-wide enhancement that helps users with daily tasks on iPad. It enables auto-summarization of notes, PDFs, and article smart replies in mail and message and script in a voice memos, and interview image cleanup tools directly in photos and third-party apps I powered voice command flows for creators and professionals with the M5 chip running these models entirely on device. Users can enjoy real-time, private, and powerful AI workflows even offline. Final thoughts, the iPad Pro we've been waiting for for the first time. The iPad Pro won't just be a product you admire, it will be one you rely on. With the M5 chip, Epados 26, and Apple Intelligence working together. The 2025 iPad Pro becomes more than a luxury tablet, it becomes a true professional machine, capable of replacing a laptop from any users. Whether you're a filmmaker, audio, engineer, digital illustrator, programmer, or business owner, this device finally feels like it meets the demands of your workflow not just in power, but in function. This isn't just another iPad Pro. This is the iPad Pro reimagined with the power, software, and intelligence to match the vision Apple laid out a decade ago.